Hi, welcome to Darugu. Today we are discussing about sandalwood, one of the most hot topics of Indian market when it comes to timber and one of the most costliest wood in entire South Asia. So, will sandalwood make you crorepati? This is a one of the most asked question in a, any farmer or any uh, investor. We'll discuss on that. And apart from that, we'll discuss on cultivation challenges. We'll cal talk about. Uh, we'll discuss about uh, maintenance. We'll discuss about protection and we'll discuss about the sale procedure. To begin with, we'll start with the first basic question. Why sandalwood? Why a farmer should select sandalwood? The most important thing is, this is the one of the only hope which a farmer or any investor can look for. One crop which can really has the potential to make you a crorepati. Forget about the karurpati, but this crop will allow you for intercropping. This crop takes less spacing. This crop requires less water. This crop is very hard in terms of uh, pest and disease management I'm talking about. And most importantly, this crop has very less time rotation. That is from time to planting to harvesting. The only time it requires is 12 to 15 years. It is the only or least expected from any timber. Rest all the timbers, mahogany, rosewood, agar wood, or any other trees which are commercially viable requires more time than the sandalwood. Some places agar wood can be harvested at the 10 years, but most of the time it requires 18 to 19 years and on average to harvest the agar wood. So, sandal is the crop which allows you to do multiple farming or which has the more flexibility in terms of the plantations now coming to the second question what should be the spacing when you are starting to the farming or when you are planning for a sandalwood plantation understand why spacing before going with any plantation for growth of any tree it requires three main components that is sunlight second will be the nutrients third will be the water without a sunlight there will be no uptake of nutrients without water again there will be no uptake of the um, nutrients when we combine these three things we should be aware of the what should be the spacing and why we are giving that much of amount of space now first to understand the tree we have two types of tree here one is sandalwood one is milia dubia is one of the softwood you can compare them both are same age same class when you talk about age but they have different figures. For instance, the Mina Dubia has grown almost about 10 to 12 inches and the sandalwood have grown almost about 6 and 6.5 six and inches. When they have same age, but they are growing in a different category or a different speed you can consider. To know this or you have to understand this because when you are planting a softwood with a hardwood or you are planting with a hardwood with a hardwood or a hardwood, they require good amount of space for their betterment of growth. Today, as you are in this plantation, over next one year or two years, we have to harvest the milia dubia for the betterment of the sandal. So, sandal is a moderate height tree. It grows about 15 to 25 feet on an average and the plantation we consider it is a 20 feet height, which it requires about 12 to 15 feet of spacing. So, in our plantation, we have maintained row to row, that is from this row to that row, we have maintained 16 feet and from plant to plant, we have maintained 8 feet as of now. But when we remove this milia, there will be good amount of space and there will be good amount of sunlight. When we get good sunlight or when any plants or any tree get good sunlight, there will be good growth. Right now, we have good sunlight in this form. One of the example is the grass which are grown on the fields or buns. This indicates there is a good amount of sunlight. The moment we are not getting any grass or any weeds, we have to understand there is a problem of sunlight in our plantation. This is where we have to provide the sunlight. So over the time, it might won't grow because of the sunlight. If there is no sunlight, there will be no life at all. Sunlight is the most important. So spacing, I recommend at least of 12 by 15 or 12 by 12. Plant to plant, row to row, in any direction, it should be minimum of 12 feet, maximum of 15 feet is recommended. So, when you are going with the sandalwood, 
spacing make sure you have to maintain good don't go on the quantity numbers only focus on the quality we can achieve good quality only if there is the proper quantity and proper planning next question arise what kind of soil or what kind of climate it requires understand these are hardwood trees and this requires lot of lot of heat that means it requires less water more heat for its metabolic activity or a secondary secondary metabolism so when we talk about the growth sandal requires red soil for their best optimum growth if at all you are growing in the black soil make sure there is no water logging in any given point of time in your farm there is a water logging then definitely that plantation is not at all advisable my friends hope so you understand the concept because they require less water you can't force a tree to grow in the more water or a shallow water condition because they can't work or they can't produce the hardwood which you are focusing okay this is a one of the most important thing to be understood question generally comes with what should be the spacing uh, sorry what should be the planning in terms of host why host understand sandal can't grow their own food or they don't have the proper roots structure they are dependent on other plants for its survival or its betterment of growth so in this case we have to make sure these trees have good host there is a criteria for host selection i will come into that but understand this tree is growing basis on these trees or any host or any extra trees in and around the sandalwood okay this is most important you can't grow sandalwood single or in a remote area with the any without any host this is the most important key point now when you are selecting host what should be the criteria the must and should criteria should be they should most of the host should be legume species now what is legume legume is the tree which has more capacity to fix atmospheric nitrogen in the soil or it is n fixing plants we consider what is n fixing they fix more nitrogen to the soil and what is this work or what is the process of nitrogen nitrogen builds the plants for the growth okay whatever leaf you are looking at whatever the growth they it is gaining everything is help of nitrogen okay the potassium phosphorus they take care of rooting and roots structure but nitrogen will definitely focuses on the growth overall growth the phenotypical characters will be decided on the basis of nitrogen content in the soil so please select n fixing plants maybe there are hundreds of n fixing in that we have to decide basis on the height basis on the uh, spacing basis on the density of the plantation it, it's all changes and here right now we have taken nmk gold custard apple okay now if you are googling it as n fixing no this is not a n fixing or this is not a legume tree but we have a huge legume tree over here that is melia dubia you can see over here this is a huge tree and each tree can support up to four sandalwood okay each tree can support up to four sandalwood apart from that we are going with the just come over here another legume called sasbania this is the highest nitrogen provider or a producer so sasbania provides a good amount of nitrogen for these two beautiful trees over here and uh, over the period we are going to harvest this uh, melia dubia but our uh, yeah sasbania going to support sandalwood for next of their lifetime okay with the help of custard apple with the help of other species which we are going to or which we are uh, showing you over the time or uh, in next video to know more about sandalwood please contact daru group or subscribe our channel because we have clear content and proper knowledge being a forestry graduate it is my responsibility to guide you in the proper manage to develop your future farms or your dream projects hope you understand i subscribe my channel my friends that now i am showing you two different trees actually with the same age class on my right we have one of the healthy tree of sandalwood on my left we have a one of the poor growth sandalwood but the both age is 4 years as of now but why this difference to understand this we need to dig up the life cycle of the tree when any seed is germinated when it is germinating it carries its mother genes 
okay for example we inherit our parents genes my height my color my growth my size everything will be from my grandfather or father or mother because this is a gene pool same thing happen here when you select any seeds make sure the whole seed or the collection era should be from the very healthy trees for example the four, this mother plant or this tree the ancestor of this trees are very healthy and the result of this tree will be healthy and when you collect the seed from this tree and when you multiply definitely it will be healthy but this is not the right age to collect the seeds though we have seeds here you can just have a look very beautiful seeds of a sandalwood within a four years generally it starts giving the seed from the right two years and even i'll show you from this tree because the age is same the maturity has been done it is same but the yield and the production will be less even the, this when we harvest at the age of 15 years we we will get sandalwood we will get the hardwood but the difference will be if you are getting 20 kg over here we are getting 5 kg there will be a lot of difference to minimize this to error to address this error we need to focus on seed selection okay that is from plus tree from plus tree that is a one of the most healthy tree we need to select the seeds and propagate it and start your own plantation or go to the most trusted person where he can procure you best seeds or best seedlings for your best future plans or best future projects without any knowledge of seed selection or a criteria of that never enter into this business or never enter into the farming because one of the riskier part you are investing for the next 15 years without knowing any results without knowing any future of the tree then it is a huge risk so understand the genetic characteristics of the trees and go ahead okay we'll begin the next part the conclusion the most important topic or most asked question or one of the highest doubt what farmers are facing will it make you a property yes my friends it can and it will make you a property if you have a, that level of dedication that level of integration when you are developing a farm farm requires good spacing farm requires proper watering farm requires proper nutrient management and most importantly farm requires good amount of sunlight with a good host when it comes to sandalwood if at all these things are in the good plot if at all you have able to manage this then that plantation can be considered as a good plot but there will be two unknown challenges one with respect to disease which may be a waterborne disease which may be a soil borne disease or which may be a viral disease which can be accommodated from somewhere else and might have affected so badly even after five years even after 10 years even after 15 years which we don't have any idea as of now so this is the biggest challenge second challenge when it comes to the sandalwood the protection how i am going to protect it when there is a crores of money lying on your grounds in the farm how we are going to protect it there is a proper planning there is a proper channel where we can assure the protection to know that you have to watch my next video which i am making on the production itself it will be exclusive for the sandal production though the video will be in kannada but i'll ensure you will have a english subtitle this video was exclusively for the all the viewers outside the karnataka now from now onwards we'll try our best to give you in english hindi and kannada this will be our promise in upcoming days with your support with your love we'll make a, such a video such a content where you get a proper knowledge on sandalwood proper knowledge on the timber not just a sandalwood there is a high potential for the rosewood there is a high potential for the teak wood there is a high potential for the sal there are different trees there are different categories which make you a crorepati in a acre or in a given short period 15 to 20 years but we'll understand that step by step we'll make you sure or we'll educate you in a such a way every farmer should be a crorepati that is our target that is our vision if not a crorepati that's the second thing if not a crorepati the plantation should be a successful model successful vision 
because we will contribute for the carbon sequestration, we will contribute for the greenery, we will contribute for the environment because this is the one of the biological park in the nature when it comes to talk because we have birds, we have droppings, we have uh, flies, we have every biological life over here that is the contribution from a human to the nature. We can be a part of this contribution. So join your hands, we will develop a sustainable world. Thank you.